Hey guys, I'm gonna be Beck's temporary replacement today and me and Peter are gonna have a little play around with a double denim series that I've been wanting to do. I've picked a photo that I'm gonna make Peter copy and we're just gonna go from there. Okay, so I haven't taken a shot as yet. Um, I've just set up a V flat because I feel the lighting that was used might have been a big octa, a big scrim or a V flat. I really like using V flat, so I've decided that's the way I'm going to go. I haven't taken a single frame. I'm on my normal uh, settings on the Hasselblad, uh, which is uh, 100 ISO F8 at 160th of a second. And we're going to, this is basically copying the feel of the light and the feel of the image, and then I'll just let it go wherever Lottie lets it go. So I'm just going to get a frame to start working on both the light direction, the light power. Cool, instantly overexposed. So I'm going to just dial this back. Oh, yeah, it's way high. So I'm looking at a couple of things. I'm quite liking that. Don't care if the wall goes off. That's not part of the picture. I might just direct more of the power to Lottie. At the moment, I'm finding the power is going a little bit more at the wall. So by me bringing this around to point more power at Lottie than the wall. That's cool, I'm liking this. Do you want to take one step back? While I'm moving her back, it's going to put her in a different part of the light and I can see my shadow. Well, I don't want it as strong as that. So I'm going to open this out more. Maybe direct it there. I'm just going to keep adjusting this. Just if you look at how dark the nose shadow and the shadows are on her face there, when I come to the next shot, you'll see it's gone much lighter. It's because I'm now putting, getting the light to wrap around by me bringing this board, which is blocking some of the background, and then opening this up to get some light more wrapping around. Yeah, I'm really liking. Right, so one of the big differences to our reference picture is the shadow on the reference picture is a lot less. It's not as dark, anywhere near as dark. So what I want to do is pull in a whiteboard. So I've dropped a whiteboard in next to Lottie to see if I can bounce some light back in and fill in that shadow and look instantly it did that. It did it perfectly. Now I know there's a lot of people that don't like shadows on walls, but uh, it is used a lot in fashion and advertising. And myself, I love that sort of drop shadow. I'm actually really, really liking that. The shadow's still most likely a bit stronger. So if I just move this board in a little bit tighter, it should kick back. Cool. Yeah, that's brought it back lovely. All I'm doing is looking at what I don't like and I think I'm liking everything about it. Can you turn your head more that way? That's uncomfortable for you, isn't it? I thought she was gonna say that. Now I've got my lighting back to front. All right, so yeah, I've stuffed up. I've got my lighting back to front because I forgot to talk to, or I forgot to remember what Lottie's favorite side is and what her favorite side isn't. So I just, the lighting on, did you wanna have a look at this? See how much prettier it is yeah. on you from there? It's because turning away from the light, we're getting a no shadow, yeah, yeah. all right? Yeah, completely forgot yep. to ask you. In fact, all I did was look at the reference picture mm -hmm. and you'll see that she prefers that side of her face and I set yeah. my lighting up that way. So let's do a really quick rebuild, which means I have to move every camera and everything. Uh, 
Okay, 15 minutes later. <laughs> no, don't you apologize. It's my, this is me not doing you my job. I, I didn't even I didn't even think of it, and yeah, which I would normally do. I think it's because Beck's not here. I'm blaming blaming yeah. the lack of Beck. So now I'm going to have to set up again, and I'm now I'm overexposed. My drop shadow is too far away. The light is so much prettier from that angle. I want to flare this light out more. So I'm just going to bring Colton away. I'm opening up my white card. I'm making sure that that globe is hidden behind the head. I might just bring this back a touch. Let's see what we get there. That's getting better. Right, I just want to get that shadow in closer to her, but that's really easy. If I just move my camera closer to Lottie, it should move the shadow closer. It did, lovely. I'm really liking this, and but I want to turn this light down a bit, but spread it at the same time. So rather than turning the power down, I'm just moving the board away. So I'm just fine tuning little things. Right, so I still want to bring this around this way a bit more. And this is one of the reasons I love using the flats. I'm just getting the one shadow. Cool, so I'm bouncing much more like, so I got the light closer to the V flat. It's fixed a little problem I was seeing which I wasn't liking. So now I'm just gonna pull the power down a bit. Move that a little bit. Yeah, I'm liking that definitely better. Cool, so I pull the power, oh, let's take, by me taking this back further, should turn the power down. All right, so I'm 100% happy with that. Um, I'm going to make it black and white. I think Lottie said I'm allowed to. Less contrast. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right, cool. Yeah. All right, so I've got my lighting right. And cool, that's really cool. That's cool. Just the first couple of frames, I'm just going to double check. She has gone back closer to the wall, and I want to make sure that I'm happier with that. Yeah, the wall shadow just got, but I'm quite liking what that's looking like. I'm just adjusting it slightly. All right, so that's nice. So what I want you to get out of now is the Macarena because in between us working together, the only yeah. shoots she does is Macarenas. Agree? Yeah. So you know what I mean? So in real life, yeah. right, you're just standing there and moving a little bit. Yeah. As soon as I click, you move, oh, click, just... move, click. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But this is it's just a difference if you want to have the type of shots that you pick out of the, they're not, they're not doing macarenas, they're drifting. They're just treating it more like a video and their movements are only, they're letting the photographer get five or six pictures in one pose. So it's bang, 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 bang. And it's feeling who you are, what you want the rest of the world to think. So you have to feel that way. We see in the two dimensional world. Cool, cool, that's pretty. And it's like we were talking about earlier with AI, we need to have a bit of you in the shot where the AIs can't do. Yeah. And then that makes you un -AI Yeah. Much better, yeah, so much better. It's mm -hmm. more, when you go into modeling mode, you turn on your modeling face your face changes. But once you get into this drifting mode, it's more like your everyday face. Yeah. Cool, are you liking how it's looking? Cool. This is also tougher with video cameras on. Cool. Now, I'm loving that slowing down on it now and the attitude, I really, that's cool. Chin up a little bit, same thing. Same with the eyes, straight in there, beautiful. Stunning. 
tune down sort of works, but when you're doing powerful, yeah. eye to eye yeah. tends to have more power. Are you liking? Yeah, cool. If I sort my hair out, I like that though. Yeah, I think just play with it like this. So fierce is really good. The hardest thing is not to then get fierce in your jaw. It just needs to be fierce eyes. Cool, that's cool. That's really cool. Cool. So one of the little tricks I use a little bit, I don't think I've used it with you yet. So there's a look which are called the yin and yang. Have I spoken about yin and yang before with you? Um, it's a look in your eyes that yeah. says, oh, I like you, or I don't really yeah. like you at all. Yeah. Right? It's that yeah. you can basically tell someone to F off with your eyes, but if the... Some person looking at, oh, look at those beautiful eyes, but you're really saying, F off, yeah, yeah. right? It's that strength. Yeah. But they're just seeing that really powerful, beautiful, beautiful. Same thing, just chin up just a touch, yeah. Cool, cool. I don't like micro posing, but Lottie can't quite see what she looks like exactly and just by that little chin up a tiny bit or chin down a little bit or stronger eyes it just seems that I can see cool 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 nice that's cool I love that that's really cool come up onto your toes that's better when you come up on the toes it changes your body shape a lot yeah because it brings your pelvis forward which is more fashion yeah Cool. Yeah. I think we're just just going to do one other quick thing. I'm just going to come off the tripod and I'm going to shoot yeah. around you a little bit more. Is that cool? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. cool. So if you just get back in your spot, I'm just going to freestyle it more. Cool. Now the reason I'm freestyling is because number one, I can get different lighting. So if I come around here, you'll see that there's a different lighting. The shadows drop more behind her. My body is blacked out a little bit of the light. That's actually a cool shot. And it makes the model move more. Cool, that's really cool. Nice, nice. That's really cool. Just drift it, keep a drift. Rather than stop, start. Cool, cool, cool. Keep drifting, keep drifting, that. Yeah, cool. Uh, come on, cool. I don't know if that's gonna to be too dark. Little changes like this is quite often where I'll get my killer picture. You see how I'm forcing her to follow a move with, that's pretty, that's really pretty. That's really cool. Cool, nice, nice. That's really pretty. Cool, cool. That's pretty, that's really pretty. Toes, come on, push up, push up. Get that attitude, cool, that's really pretty. Pretty, cool. So where are you gonna hang your picture? Um, right, now pose, now pose. See how you just feel, see the difference you feel? <laughs> Did you feel that? <laughs> right, that's, that's your next learning platform. Yeah. Learning how to feel during a shoot in the way you need to look. So just for me to soften your eyes down, all I had to do was mention something I knew you were happy about and you can't help that your cheeks come up. Cool, that's so much, that's, yeah, so you can't help yourself. Agree? Yeah. So these are things that you really need to learn yourself. You need to find your happy places that if your pictures are looking but maybe they're not quite as soft as, you know, you might be doing a tough look, but you need the softness in your eyes. You need to have your favorite place in your world. And that's where you are right now. And the main thing I want you to understand is because what you're feeling is every muscle in your face change. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, if you're feeling beautiful, if you're feeling edgy, every muscle is going to back that up. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. If you wanna see more shoots that I've done with Peter, we'll pop some more videos up. Is that okay? <laughs>